Roxanne that sort of took her inspiration from an early French artist who was slightly quirky. And uh, so it's, it's, we wanted to make the, the hair look young and fresh. So we're literally tousling the hair. If girls have got incredibly thick hair, we're pleating the hair underneath at the back and braiding it to the scalp so the hair looks thinner and finer. And then twisting the hair in sections and then blasting it with a hair dryer, a little bit of sea salt spray, which gives it some nice texture, and then just rough drying it afterwards. So a very, very loose style, unstructured and very natural. Today for Alexander we're creating an, an English rose kind of look. We're keeping the skin really natural, really dewy, really beautiful and shiny by using a little bit of concealer around it to cover the redness. Then we mix two lipsticks together, a purple and a pink, and we use that on the cheeks and on the lips. But by putting it like a little bit on the, in the middle and then working our way out so it doesn't look too makeup-y and then on the cheek and we look we work our way down, so it looks flashed, not blushed. Starting point um, was work of um, two artists, Nikki de saint Paul and Joseph, Al Joseph Albers, and just the differences between them as artists and as personalities. And it's something that I'm trying to do in my work, just combine different opposite things, like feminine with masculine, sportswear with evening wear, um, like something luxurious with something quite accessible and everyday. And it's just a combination of everything, really. Uh, the majority of color palettes came from um, Joseph Albert's work and uh, you know he's known for his amazing minimal color combinations which is let's say different shades of uh, yellow or um, white honey color and mixed with black and blue and I started with that really because they were so striking in their simplicity and so bold. Um, and then I kind of, in terms of shapes, more borrowed things from, from a female artist, Nikki de saint Paul, uh, with lots of curves, lots of kind of boomerang shapes, unexpected cuts, and, um, and also in terms of fabrics. There were lots of textures, lots of different kind of shades um, of, of the same color, lots of different thicknesses of cotton, so it's kind of all interlinked. these orange pants and this gorgeous orange blouse. I really like it. Nice fabric and they're, they're just like, I mean, they're cool. Yeah, I mean, it's still like a piece that you could wear on the street, but people would like look at you when you're wearing them because they're really cool, yeah. First London Fashion Week. I'm very excited. I'm wearing this really gorgeous dress. It's very modern and fun. I really love it. I love the color blocking. I love the sleeves. I like that it's full coverage and it's very modern, not too sexy. I like it a lot. Um, I always take, take things in, in a, I, I like them to be quite, if they are sexy, they're sexy in a quite discreet way, I would say. So there are little elements showing, but, but not too much. It's almost something to kind of um, spice up the imagination, but you can't still see what's going on. <laughs> Accessory is something that I've been kind of having fun with in the last couple of collections. Last season it was like those kind of gorgeous uh, 
sporty rucksacks worn with a, like evening dresses and, and this time they just came from my drapes really because I love draping, I love fabric, I love kind of uh, duchess silk satin and, and they were just kind of, you know, version of, of that. What is known at the moment for, for just you know um, pieces desirable and loved by many different women.